What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be ranking the best robots of 2023. So I know it's 2024 now, but who cares, I still want to go over the best bots of the previous year. So it's going to be a little bit of a trip down memory lane and yeah, let's just jump straight into it. Okay, so in the number 10 spot we have the Angler. So at the start of the year, the Angler wasn't really in a bad spot, it was still usable. And I know a lot of people still use it to this day, even though it's been nerfed a bunch of times. But still on this list, number 10, the Angler is a perfect fit because a lot of people still use it. It can be effective if you run last stand, so yeah, there we go. Okay, so for the number 9 spot, we have the Emuji. Sorry about the, like, weird ratio of the clip here. That's just the only one I could find that was actually mine. So the Emuji is actually still used by a lot of players. Uh, it was never nerfed. It was just these weapons that got a nerf. But still, if you see an Emuji these days, if it has a maxed out last stand and, like, newer weapons, then it's still actually really effective. I just don't run it because, honestly, I never really was that good at running it. It's one of the best beacon runners now as well, so bear that in mind. For the number 8 spot, we have the Nether. So the reason that this is higher than the Emuji is because where before it was nerfed early on in the year, it was absolutely broken. The claw build especially was just absolutely ridiculous. And it's this thing still was really strong earlier this year. It's really good at killing the Aphian if you can make it last long enough, I'll be honest. And the dashes are actually still surprisingly good for beacon running. Annoyingly, its main weakness now is the Damper, Tamer, and Subdue weapons that pretty much delete it in one clip, uh, as you can see from this gameplay. But yeah, this was one of the most annoying meta robots in its time, so that's why it's number 8 on this list. So the Crisis takes the number 7 spot. This was one of the most craziest ever builds paired with the Reaper that the game has ever seen. These weapons could ignore every kind of defense, basically making it a Titan Slayer and it basically just deleted everything. The Crisis is still used, it's really good, but the Reaper's reload nerf made it a lot less common to see it in Champion League. Um, I don't run it after that because you just can't get over how it used to be. I definitely think it's still usable in today's meta, especially with Decays, so don't write off the Crisis just yet. Okay, in the number 6 spot we have the Lynx. So, this thing in its prime was just absolutely crazy. It would basically just run around the map in stealth with the stake weapons deleting everything in sight. Obviously, the nerfs to both of them have made that way less common now, but in 2023, the Lynx was probably one of the most feared robots in the game, especially as it brought back the controversial execute mechanic to the game. Now, I remember that these things were an absolute pain to take out, so I didn't even mind when they got nerfed, but with the upcoming Orochi buff, I think the Orochi might genuinely be better than it now, but we had to put the links in here because it really was just insane when it was when it was meta. Okay, so the number 5 spot goes to the Aphian. Probably one of the best assassin robots in the game right now due to its absorber shield and insanely short cooldown. Now, I personally hate this robot because the amount of like things that should kill it that don't are just ridiculous. For example, the Reaper Crisis that at the time could literally go through any defense, yet it could never kill an Aphian in the air. I think that was where a lot of people started to run it to kind of combat the crisis epidemic that was going on. But yeah, now we have the plague of them today, which everyone has one and they're a super effective build in Champion League. Okay, so number four, we have the Curie. Now, I know a few people will have probably said rank this higher, but at this point, there is still a lot of Ochikochis that can still beat one of these. I do think we'll be seeing way, way more of the Curie once the Ochikochi nerf comes through. Uh, in the next update, but so far this little robot is absolutely crazy There are some encounters that I've been like I'm completely dead and then I get out with like 300,000 health There is an annoying bug with it where it randomly dies Which I think hopefully they'll fix in the next update and after that is it has been fixed I think we'll see the Curie way more especially after the Ochikochi nerf. So this is a classic case of watch this space 
Okay, starting off our top three, we have the Dagon. Now, the Dagon is overlooked by so many players, but this thing can easily go up against an Ochikochi and win. The sheer firepower of six weapons is just simply unmatched by any other robot that we've seen. If you have the Paladin, coupled with the ability, the shield becomes unbreakable. Uh, as you can see in this gameplay, they literally are barely even damaging my actual health because of the amount of shields that I have. And that is what's enabling me to just survive and just do crazy damage here. Once the Ochikochi gets nerfed, I think these things are going to be even more meta. So if you have a Dagon, I'd think about leveling it. Just don't level the Tamers to go with it because those are going to be getting a nerf. But the Dagon is still going to be insane. In our number two spot, we have the Ochikochi. Literally, not only has this been almost the most craziest broken robot that has come out in the whole of 2023. Oh, wow. This might be the craziest thing we've seen in the game's history. Now, this robot, as you can see here, you, the health you can get up to with this thing is just off the charts. You can easily reach 1 million HP if you run the Kestrel Drone and the Paladin Mothership, and every single kill you get will stack up to extra HP. It's pretty much, it's almost immune to titans, but they're usually what kills it in the end. And every single robot, when this thing came out, instantly became obsolete. As you can see here, this is gameplay from when it first came out with the uh, Damper and Subduer, not Subduer, sorry, the Damper and Tamer. This was me trying out the Damper Tamer build for the first time, and as you can see, I'm absolutely deleting everyone. So, the Ochikochi, it's getting a nerf soon, so who knows how long it will actually still be at the top but for now in everyone's minds it will remain one of the craziest robots that war robots has ever yeah, seen and our prize number one spot goes to the ultimate fenrir now a few people are probably gonna be like oh how is that stronger than the ochikochi the healing defense points and just ultimate madness of this thing is enough to make this top spot even over the next three meta robot releases. This thing can brawl against a maxed out Newton and still come out on top. As you can see, uh, this is actually unreleased footage because there's just too many games where I did so well in this thing. Um, but I was at like 200,000 health just after getting a couple kills but already back to almost 500,000. Full Newton with the Tonins and Fulga literally only did 20,000 damage to me. This is what makes it stronger than the Ochikochi, because the Ochikochi doesn't have that defense uh, weapons mitigation, which basically means that the Tonins and Fulga can't mitigate the defense. So once it's charged up, that is why the Ultimate Fenrir can tank so much Titans. I mean, a full Sonic Titan clip can barely dent it. I've had games with this thing where it's just unbelievable how much health that I've reached. Paired up with the Kestrel Drone and the Paladin Mothership, you can easily reach like 1.3, 1.4 million health. And it's crazy because you can go from getting knocked down to 100,000 health to then shooting all the way back up to over a million. And that's what makes this thing absolutely crazy. It's harder for the Ochikochi to recover that grey damage. But this thing allows you to stay in the fight longer with its tankiness. Fire the weapons to charge up the Paladin and just stack up that HP. It's madness! Like, look at this, what's happening now. I started off with 200,000 health. I've been attacked by a Newton. And look at my health just continuously going up on every kill. This is madness. Look at this. There's a Titan Slayer. And almost we're back to full health. Never in my life have I seen a robot that crazy. Fair enough the Ochikochi can um, do it. But this thing does it better. Back to full health. Almost 300,000 extra than what we started with. A bunch of people are going to say to me, oh, there's no way that that's stronger than the Nochikochi. Right, here comes two of them, and let's see how they fare against me. So, fair enough, they're not w running the Damper Tamer. I will be honest, that does actually slow down the Ultimate Fenrir quite a lot. Um, but I've still won against Ochikochis with that uh, build. But as you can see, two Ochikochis, with the help of my teammate, got absolutely destroyed, so... I would say that out of the 2023 robots, the Ultimate Fenrir is the best, without a doubt. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed that tier list of the best robots that we've seen in 2023. Let me know in the comments if you agreed, or if you completely disagreed with the whole order of the list. But as always, if you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.